started in 2012 with a student um, named uh, David Bridgman Packer. He went to Haiti um, in his senior year and after he got back he thought it would be a good um, thing for us to do to, um, for us to have a clinic near the village because the nearest hospital is three hours to four hours away from um, where the people of Shemet um, live. So for from 2012 to 2014 we have worked into um, raising money um, filling up for grants and um, we started um, holding our um, annual event called Art and Soul. That event we raised money for the clinic um, to help operate the clinic. We now have a doctor who comes by um, the clinic um, twice a month and we have two nurses um, who work um, full time. <laughs> And being a part of not only the women's the health initiative but the women's initiative has allowed me to sort of look into the health barriers that exist for women not only in the village of Shermet in Haiti but in communities that surround me and so donating as part of this project will help in the Vassar Hades project larger effort of decreasing those health barriers and when you really look into these health barriers it's it surrounds things that we often take for granted but are not necessarily available to the woman of Shermet such as prenatal care as well as menstrual products for the young girls to be able to go to school and so in you donating you will help to contribute to this effort <laughs> I went to Haiti this past March and I visited the clinic or and you know basically I helped out around the clinic and I saw like all that all the good work that VHP does. So if you when I was there what really struck me was like hearing about how it was before the clinic was constructed. They say that like they didn't have really anywhere to go. So I feel like we're doing a lot of good work there and you should consider donating if you can. The money would go towards helping us improve the clinic and, and improve its abilities and expand its abilities of treatment. Um, for example, we are in need of just shelving to help organize the clinic, um, even posters on the walls, um, informative posters, a roofing for the clinic because over the years it, is, it has become um, very weathered. It's in need of new paint on the sides, um, more benches for patients um, to sit on while they're waiting. Um, Many would go to buying supplies. Right now the most urgent needs are a patient bed, you know, really stuff that clinics here have. Um, our hope is to get a Rotary grant to um, build like a laboratory and get electricity so we can have vaccines. And the health initiative, um, it's one saying that we always say in BHP is little by little, like from the bird will build, will build its nest. And this is what um, that has been happening with the clinic itself because we, we started, like it started in 2012 with just a student, like it was just a student ambassador. And now we're, even though we're not where we wanted to be, want to be but there are so much more that we have to do. Um, the achievement that we have accomplished has um, fulfilled um, the people of Shemet, um, fulfilled their needs, and it has also fulfilled our goal also because now that we have a fully stacked pharm um, pharmacy, we have doctors, we have nurses, which is the basic thing that you would need like if somebody um, were to get hurt um, or somebody were to get sick in the village. So um, to us, we, we see that um, having the clinic close to um, the people of Shemet in the nearby villages has been the greatest accomplishment that we could have for the health initiative and for the Vassar Haiti project as a whole. Um, but there are so much, so much things that, so many things that we have to do. Um, um, we have to do it on board, um, which is um, laboratory, um, so, um, having electricity, and having another bed in the clinic so that more people could um, see the doctor, um, so that we see the doctors, and that people could be um, comfortable when they come and see us in the clinic. So, um, so I just want to say thank you so much for donating. Um, your money will not go um, to waste, it will be in good use. Um, 
yeah, I'm so happy um, to be part of the Fast Reading Project and to be part of the health initiative. And I hope you guys are more happy to um, contribute to um, our community. We hope that you consider donating to our cause. It's really important to us and to the people of the village and the surrounding villages that Got you, man.